All right, good morning. It's morning. Um, I'm going to throw together a quick blueberry streusel cake. Um, I am doing my first collaboration with Tiffany from Small Town Six. Um, today is her cake collaboration. I believe it has something to do with her birthday. Um, either way, I am very excited. This is my first time doing a collab. I really am so thankful that you're here and so happy that you joined me while I make this super yummy cake, which will be like our morning snack. Okay, so I've got Sorry, I'm just getting my flour. I've got two cups of flour. I'm not really using a recipe. I kind of have a recipe in my mind. I can find and link a recipe though that is similar to the one I'm using. Um, so I've got flour. I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of baking powder. Um, and let me see here about a teaspoon of salt. That was about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna just add in a dash of cinnamon. Now we also will need to make this result topping with the cinnamon after. So um, I believe the original recipe calls for the white sugar. I love to bake with brown sugar though, and generally will switch my recipes. Would you like him? Um, I'm just adding in. Oh my goodness, say roar! Roar, tiger! Did you get your apples that mama made for you? So that's about. Um, I don't know what I got in here, but about two thirds, just shy of two thirds of a cup. But that's okay because the recipe did call for three quarters. I think the original recipe is three quarters. It's either three quarters or one cup. So this is about two thirds. Oops, I just shot myself with some sugar there. And actually, I'm just gonna dump the rest of my cinnamon sugar in here. So we'll just use a fork. You don't need fancy kitchen gadgets to make stuff. Most of my measuring cups are missing. Most of my measuring spoons are missing. <laughs> Most of my kitchen baking things are gone. Um, for a few months, I'm gonna say a good four um, months or so, I was working out of the home and my kitchen was not getting as much love, but my kitchen stuff was as my kids were playing with it constantly. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm just going to crack my wet ingredients into here, or sorry, not crack, but put my wet ingredients into here because I don't feel like doing it separate. Um, so I've got two eggs. Once again, I just dump. I don't measure. And sour cream. Um, I don't think the recipe that I was drawing from used sour cream, but um, I like sour cream in you know certain recipes like banana muffins or banana bread. Sour cream just adds a nice flavor. So, I also don't have any milk currently, and usually you would use milk. Um, I don't know. Just throw some oil in there. I'm using oil in place of butter, about half a cup. And I think that's it. So, I've got flour. I'm just running through the list in my head to make sure that I have put everything in here that I can think of. Measuring. Now 
Now I might have to add some liquid because I used milk, or I used sour cream and not milk. But my oil and my eggs might be sufficient. And that was like a tablespoon of water. I don't want to add too much. I don't want to make it too liquidy. I want a nice thick batter. So I get a nine by nine here. I'm just gonna cover the bottom. I think it's nine by nine. I don't know. It's square. It's bigger than my other square, so. So I'm just putting flour in the bottom. That way it's gonna help with the sticking. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to pause for a second. All right. So, here's my batter. I've got my pan. I'll, um, let's see there, but my pan is floured. So, I've got my blueberries here, and I've coated them with just a little bit of flour to kind of help. Um, I am using frozen blueberries. Some of these blueberries are massive. And I'm just going to very gently fold this. I don't really want to smush my blueberries because some of them um, are already starting to soften up. So I did pull them out of the freezer about 20 minutes ago and just ran some cool water over them because I didn't want them completely frozen. If you use completely frozen blueberries in your baking, um, you run the risk of adding a little bit more moisture into your your baking because of like the ice crystals and stuff that are formed on and in your blueberries. So I um, pulled them out, put a little bit of flour on them, and there we go. Plus the little bit of flour is supposed to help them from sinking directly to the bottom of your um, pan so that you don't end up with blueberry bottom <laughs> but I mean the way I just mix this I think I'm going to end up with a blueberry bottom anyways <laughs> you can't even see what I'm doing I'm sorry Mom. hi buddy hi. what you doing little man did you finish your apples so in a separate bowl here, I am just combining um, some flour, some brown sugar, and some butter. Um, okay, so you can hear brown sugar, some cinnamon. Uh oh. Uh oh. Some cinnamon. I'm also going to add a small handful of oats because I like oats in my streusel topping, but it's actually, I think the basic streusel topping is just flour, sugar. Uh, cinnamon and butter um, but as I said I actually like the streusel topping with oats in it so I'm just adding some oats 
Again, it's your kitchen. Cook how you like. You're the ones who have to eat it. Go, oh, that's what we're looking for. A nice crumbly um, topping. Okay, so there's still some chunks of butter. Right? If you squeeze it, it would hold kind of a crumbly. It kind of holds a ball shape, but we don't want it to hold a shape, so there we go. And then I'm just going to sprinkle this all over the top. All right, so I'm going to stick this in the oven at 375. I'm going to put this in the oven, and I'll see you when it comes out. Okay, here she is straight out of the oven. Okay, there we go. There it is, straight out of the oven. And I'm just going to put together a very simple glaze for the top, um, but I'll wait till it cools down. We just made up a quick little icing. Um, I didn't measure anything. I just put some icing sugar in a bowl and then added a couple drops of vanilla and some lemon juice. In the bottle. And a touch of water because I wanted to thin it out just a little bit more. And now we're just going to pour it over the top. Mm. Can I help? Mm. Oh no, too heavy, too fast. It's okay, keep helping. Just We didn't want that big of a... Mom, is that baby going to spread it? No, it's just glaze. It'll melt. Okay. That's why it's so thin. Right? Also, why I was trying to avoid putting... Then, that's just going to be an extra sweet spot. That's all. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mom? And there you have it. Our blueberry streusel coffee cake. A nice treat for breakfast. Or um, an afternoon snack with your coffee. Or really any time. I will eat this for breakfast, Yay. probably for a night, late night snack as well. But I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching.